Now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Yeah, well, these showers taking a while longer to move through. We were hoping to get some sunshine here for the afternoon hours, but it is going to be delayed at least a little bit as we take a look right now at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're at the leading edge here of another batch of showers making their way into northwestern Rhode Island right now and crossing uh, 295 heading towards 95. You can see as we look back towards Springfield, Worcester, North Shore of Boston, down through New Haven, Connecticut, that we've got this line of wet weather and it's all pushing to the southeast. Now it's been weak as it does, but some showers, even a few downpours likely here over the next few hours as it makes its way uh, towards the coastline out ahead of it. A lot of clouds around and still some cool temperatures as we wait our warm front pushing through the area. Once that happens, we do expect some warmer temperatures to take over. So today is our transition day to that. Uh, heat and humidity we've been talking about. It's really a one day sizzler, especially tomorrow. Thursday is still going to be warmer than average, but not the near 90 degree heat that we're thinking we'll see here tomorrow, along with that very high humidity. And again, we mentioned the tropics heating up as well. We'll spend some time talking about Gabrielle as well as Umberto. Our live city cam. Well, we've got great skies over Providence, 71 degrees south southwest winds at 17. It's a breezy afternoon that's going to stick around throughout the rest of the daytime. Upper 60s to lower 70s for most of the area right now. Smithfield a little cooler at 66 degrees. So below average again here for first half of the day today in terms of your temperatures late this morning and early this afternoon. Here's our, here's our warm front and it does represent that boundary between that very warm and humid air that's just off to our southwest now and the cooler autumn like air that was over New England over the last couple of days. So here's those showers and the clouds. Again, we may see a little bit of sun trying to break back out in the afternoon, but 76 for a high showers early breezy and dry or late 69 for an overnight low. So much milder in the nighttime hours. We're going to see very high humidity. So we do expect a period of low clouds and fog overnight, and that may extend into the first few hours of the day tomorrow. Then once we get to hazy sunshine, 89 hot and humid south southwest winds at 5 to 15 miles an hour beaches this afternoon. You're going to see a few showers, mostly cloudy skies about 73 at the shore visibility on the bay impacted by the showers waves one to two feet just coming off of a high tide and we have a low tide of 526 this evening tropical storm Gabrielle 40 mile an hour sustained winds got its eyes set on Bermuda in fact conditions deteriorating there throughout the daytime today and that storm will likely move near or over Bermuda uh, as we head into tonight and tomorrow as a tropical storm now the good news is this is a storm that stays out to sea well east of the Cape and the islands are so not expecting it to have any impact around here except perhaps maybe turning up our surf a little bit and we are continuing to watch Umberto as well likely to become a hurricane maybe as early as later today in fact gusts to hurricane strength now at 75 miles an hour and it's expected to strengthen to a category one possibly briefly becoming a category two hurricane uh, for a time before it weakens as well as it stays well over the ocean so your seven day future cast from the mid 70s today to the upper 80s tomorrow not a bad beach day if you can sneak one in. Air temperature around 79, water temperature in the upper 60s. We had showers and thunderstorms with a cold front on Thursday, and we are concerned about the timing of these late in the day and into Thursday night because they may impact the Pat's home opener. Humid and mild, that chance of thunderstorms as temperatures fall into the 70s. We'll finish out the week back to the cooler weather. High temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s over the weekend. So the big ups and downs still yet to come here in the next few days. All right, Michelle, thanks. And